nicer today than it was yesterday. Yeah, it was thoroughly zero fun. I'll tell you what, I've been come quite a few years and I don't think I've ever seen this many people here. Yeah, it's, 2021, it wasn't nearly as ridiculous with like 3,000 carts everywhere. down Thursday night and it's, or well after the polls tonight we'll go home because the polls last time the polls tonight ended at about eight o'clock. They almost ended before dark last night. They had like 10 tractors up and all of a sudden they're pulling every pole the light and we pulled it set up. I'm like boys we're about to have a dark pole here.
Let's check this thing out. We just saw it plowing. It's got a truck 360, DT 360 in it. Been pretty much ready to run our uh, hot stock 360 class. The turn ski handed on the side. Pretty cool 856. Another one of the cool tractors here at Rantoul day two. We have a ton of stuff to cover that we didn't cover yesterday. So I just saw that driving around. I thought, y'all would like to see that. That's pretty cool. Also, it was totally, totally uh, right on my guess. I, I guess it was that motor. All right, we got trackers piling up everywhere. We're going to go check out some other stuff and we'll bring it back. All right, we're going to try and uh, see these things in the field a little bit. Now, you're looking at these. You got a some kind of a V8 powered 560. The way the head looks, looks like it's a power stroke. Hooked up to a wagon that looks like it's going to be okay. Big Panther, Ford FW30. An old versatile back in there. A big Rome. The Rome that left home. A couple other older versatiles. Some repowered John Deere's. And again, these are all hooked 86 up. 30. 86 Yep, 8630 repowered with Kitty Cat Power. Steiger Panther 2. Big Wagner before John Deere did what John Deere does to companies. And then look at this tank on the end. The 89010X. Oh, oh, what are we? Trying to cut over the thing. Yes, that is a V12 caterpillar, I think. Nah, we're good. We'll get rid of the filter. Fill it up. It's called the copycat. Another in the category of Bipster has no idea what this is, but I'm going to film it anyway. The Fitch 4 Drive. Wow, you got to be careful saying that word. 2035. Big four cylinder. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. But look at the, look at how the drivetrain worked in this thing. There's a lot going on there. Look at this front end. Yeah, so definitely one of the more unique oddball things. Let's go back and see what uh, cre creature comforts he had. <coughs> you got to have the view of a gas tank. It's a pretty good view you had, and that was pretty much it. But we'll see if we can find this thing working at some point. But yeah, another one of the weird things you see here at Rantoul, you always see odd things. You even see Bipsters, so that's an also an odd thing.
try this thing, big old hole, turn it into a caterpillar. But what's pretty cool about this one is uh, a lot of these early ones, you know, we're still hand start, but I believe from looking at this, I think this was an early pony motor. See, so you got your little engine back here. Now, I think it's missing some parts, so maybe, maybe it's not a pony motor anymore. But no, see, that goes to that, that flywheel goes to there. Not sure it still works right now, but that would have been your engine. So you're gonna come back here, cranked it over, started that by hand. That little motor would have spun the flywheel just with a friction disc, it looks like. Start that behemoth. Pretty cool deal. Long for the days of uh, not dying while you're running. While we're over here in Caterpillar land, this is a pretty cool setup. The tractor doesn't come with uh, hydraulics. You just put a 12-volt uh, hydraulic pump on it. And make it work. Pretty cool unit that is. Again, we're over here in Caterpillar, and there's so much here. You have to come to the show. You got to check it out. It is wild, but it's definitely worth it. All right, we promised in yesterday's video we're going to go through some of these old pullers, and we can't talk about pullers without the very first... I can't say his last name. You guys can say it. The Eliminator 1 from 1969. Hooked up to Old Yeller. The big G1000. If you ask if it's turbocharged, you must be blind because it's Helen Keller can tell you this thing was turbocharged. And then behind it, little GM powered U. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so this would have been the original mechanical tractor bull sled. There was a lot of different designs at the time. You kind of see how their thought process was. A big chain on it. It was some sort of a railroad tire, it looks like. Railroad tires. But pretty cool deal. Pretty cool to have here. Obviously show off what the view of that would have looked like back in the day. Pretty dusty ride, I would guess. Again, here's a uh, GM diesel powered view. Alright, so more of these uh, tractor puller reunion. That lucky buck. Out of Mandito, Mandito, Illinois. An early, uh, I don't know if this was a pro stock or what, but. And then the V12 Allison powered Thunderbolt. This is pretty, pretty cool. Again, this is back in the day where you were driving this thing, you were just kind of, you were hanging out there. Tim, we'll come to the backside and I'll show you this. What have been looking at? Yeah, you were right there. There's, if you notice, you're, Arm to tire was a very close uh, equation you had back in this tractor. We'll come around to the other side, show off that other 1975 Illinois modified points champ Thunderbolt. Pull up more, we'll keep going around here and showing off some more of these antique uh, pulling tractors. It's another cool one here. It's called the Super Banana. Now what's interesting, this is a turbocharged, supercharged application. As you can see, these may look like butterflies, I'm not going to touch it, but they're not actual butterflies. They're, they can see that they're welded on. So, when you think about this mechanically injected, this would have taken a whole lot of uh, figuring out to make this thing work right. And it was just pretty cool. Early designs are trying to figure out how to make more power. And obviously competing with stuff like that Thunderbolt we just saw, but pretty cool piece here at Rand Tool. We'll keep going because there's a ton of really cool stuff. All right, early kind of what the early modifieds look like now. These are obviously newer tractors that have been built for pulling like kind of like a probably like a nostalgia modified class, but it's what they used to do. Put a big block automotive engine on the front. Sometimes put the transmission behind them, sometimes not go from there you got a Massey here this is a popular one to run it's a jacked up 4010 now the next one this is uh, apparently a big pedal tractor because uh, there is no engine so apparently if you want uh, you, you can pedal tractor this one I'm waiting on parts or what and then there's an old Alice d21 the 
Brand X. By the bolts right there, that tells me there's some extra hoofers on that thing. We'll show you some more. There's some, like I said, there's some pretty cool, pretty cool old, a lot of history sitting here. A lot of pulling history right in this little area. Again, this is a ranch tool. More of that cool stuff you see. Speaking of that, look at this thing. Now let's cover it up because there's the chance of uh, the participate, participate, rain. Rain is the word I'm thinking. So it's been twin. I'm not actually sure, and I don't want to touch it. Twin motors. There have been twin Chryslers. Small block Chryslers, I believe. I like the setup for uh, the tennis balls for the exhaust covers. Just some sponges on it. Big block Chevy powered Massey Harris. Hemi, early generation Hemi powered G. Another cool thing. And they say this one still, yep, you can see the big handle. Still runs the hand clutch on this one. Jerry's Toys 4020. looks like a lot of these still still do some pulling in that legends class and then we also got this thing big propane powered minneapolis moline pretty cool setup on that let's go around and check out the back of it quick here so it's still been somewhat farm stock still got some of the farm things back here but Pretty cool setup. Now, the one we teased, oh, well, we got that one. We can tease that one. But this thing, this thing you had to be certified a little crazy. Let's just look at this thing close here. Now, first off, you got three, what, what, what engines are in it? Let's see if it tells me, it might tell me. Built in the early 70s. It originally had three 430 Lincolns. I don't know what's got on it now. I believe Ford Motors because of the distributor on the front. Also, they might not run anymore. But, I mean, look at these headers. That is, I think it's out of water pipe. But what's most impressive about this is, is your engine back here. If you notice your legs, your legs are going to be here. Can you notice the clutch blanket? Let's make that focus on it. Focus, thank you. It's right there. Like, you're, yeah. Yeah, that's, you're on the clutch blanket for that back rotor, which I'm not sure exactly how they're making that all work, but they did. And again, you'd have to, these two motors are crank to crank, or, or you know, back of the motor to crank, with the four speed in between. So you'd set your gear here, and then just hope for the best with the, uh, with the castrator motor back here. Oh, I see, so you see it's got, there's your clutch in there. And we've gone back and goes through the PTO drive. So your the castrator motor runs through the PTO drive. This thing is this thing gets no definitely I don't think would pass any safety standards. And the guy has to be maybe insane. And probably was done having kids because this would make you be done having kids. Because you'd probably have a divorce if you drove this thing. But more of the cool stuff here and then also we got the boss hog single engine a little more sane than the last crazy thing we just looked at old single engine modified i think it's a cock shut rear end on that thing still that was real popular in them you take the rear end of the cock shut put some frame rails on it slap a big motor on it and go pulling and lastly we'll show you one more and it's now, cool. if you watched yesterday's video and if you did it well i'll put a link in the description you saw that we had a sea of v12s that old Tommy boy put together. Tommy Van Heusen, Van Housen, Van Housen? Sure, whatever. Either way, this is the same Continental Chrysler air-cooled V12, but because the V12 wasn't enough power, put a pair of uh, Borgen water hoofers on this thing. Twin turboed it, mechanical injection. This thing ran last night, it'll run again tonight, so if you watch the polling videos that we put out, um, you can, there'll be also a link in that description. You'll see the same pulling, but pretty cool unit here. Again, all part of the legends of tractor pulling they have every year here at Rantoul. Always something cool. Again, if you've never been to the show, you definitely got to come check right, it out. Also, it's in the tents. So you know, it's good. The Cajun Queen 4020. This is the first one. This engine, this uh, tractor was actually a couple guys got tired of the farm. Also, don't want, don't need to see me through reflection. 
uh, of farm malls doing an international doing so well tractor pull. So they bought this 4020. They, they jammed, they uh, played with the motor, went from a 404 up to a 466, because that's what, I'm assuming probably because of class rules. And then they jammed two turbos on it, each feeding three cylinders. Well, it did so well that the higher ups at John Deere said, hey, uh, we like that. Bring that thing to us. They brought that motor to them, and that's what helped John Deere develop the 46, uh, 466, which was used all the way up until 1995. So, kind of cool. This is pulling tractor, they end up having three of them. And uh, just need to see it back in pulling trim here at uh, Rancho. All right, we got another 560 here. This one, small block Chevy powered. Beautiful color. Beautiful purple on that. This is quite shine. And then, the No Limits 777. 77 Oliver. Small block Chevy powered. Pretty cool when you get how this is all getting tracked to rear end. Put your frame rails out on it, throw a motor. Looks like it's still got some kind of a automotive style transmission behind there. To give you some different gears and then right back into the Oliver transmission. So pretty cool setup. We're down here. This is uh nostalgia muscle tractors in American muscle area. Quite a bit of cool stuff. About tripped. Sorry about that, folks. We got one more Oliver I gotta show you when we're looking at pulling tractors. Alright, this Oliver 88. Obviously it's been stretched a little bit. Because it's got that GMC V12 702 cubic inch, which was based off of two uh V6 351s truck motors. And GM back in the day said, hey, we need to make two of them. So they just took two blocks, put them together. Still was four heads on it because they didn't want it to make one giant head. That would have sealed up as well as uh, the Titanic. But this is a pretty cool old tractor. We'll go back and check out the uh, the business end, see what you'd have been looking at. Here was your safety seats back in the day. You put this hot, you put this bar right there and you don't fall off. That's the theory. Slight bolts in the tire, just excited to see here. And then you got another 88 over here. Diesel 88, I'm assuming. Being a pulling tractor, probably powered by the three by the 310. Nope, six cylinder Perkins, turbocharged Perkins. Mm -hmm. Also on that uh not only the 702 cubic inches of the V12 GMC, it's also twin turbo. So it's uh it's a lot of tractor. So that would have been like this would have been like a super baby 1850. Turbo 1850, they never had. But it's got a Cummins like ours. Then we got another M here with a uh, with the V8 power Chrysler. 383 little. Actually, is that technically a big block Chrysler? I think it is. That's what people tell me. Then this is uh, <laughs> this is just adorable. A little Massey Harris. That's a hole right there. Sorry. Massey Harris 22, little flathead V8 in it. I mean, you can tell it makes a lot of power because the size of the pipes. They're big. It's got to flow a lot, but some, you know, every tractor can be a muscle tractor. Just some are smaller than others. Got a 1955 down here, Cummins powered, Cummins swapped. You can see on this side, we'll, we'll bring you over. We know a thing or two about that. It's an ag swap. You can tell by the way it is. Another uh, 88 pulling tractor. Sorry. Oh, no, no worries. And then we get back here, a couple more V8s. Big John Deere. Ooh, Detroit swapped. Scrim and Jimmy. And then, for my Alice friends, a little small block Chevy uh, WD with slight modifications to the frame. Just a little, just a little modification right there. Pretty cool. But again, there is just so much stuff here. I can't show you all of it. I'm gonna try and show you a lot, but I can't show you all of it. You gotta come down. It's every two years, next year be 2025. Get a golf cart, get a friend, Come down to Rantoul. I've said it 15 times in this video, but when I say you can see anything at Rantoul, I literally mean you can see anything at Rantoul. Look at this thing. Look at it. We're gonna we're gonna creep by it. The radio flyer. Don't worry, folks. It's just a wagon. Oh, he's got a horn on it too. I believe it looks like it's a Chevy uh, frame rail frames. I'm guessing. Maybe uh, laser, laser. Oh, it's four wheel drive. You don't get stuck in the radial flyer, I'll tell you what. Again, when I say you can see anything, you can see anything at this show. You gotta come down. Again, start planning now for 2025. Tell us your name and what this thing is. Uh, my dad, my, me and my dad built this. I'm Todd Shinky, he's Francis Shinky. We're from Gilman, Illinois. We built this about 15 years ago. 
for a float for our business and uh, we just like going out and messing around with it. It's on yeah. an 84 Chevy Avcon mm -hmm. 4x4 frame. That is cool. We uh we saw it driving around and we had to uh we had to stop, but <laughs> got the whole family there it looks like quite the Yeah, you can get a lot of people in it, so it's oh, yeah. fun to ride around it. Quite the parade machine. What's it a uh, small block Chevy power? Yeah, 350 small block with 700 R4 transmission. It'll oh, yeah. run as fast as you want to well, fall as fast as you probably want to go in an right. open cat thing. Oh, I got the Christmas lights on. This is really a cool piece here. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for bringing it out. Yeah, thank you. All right, in the means of uh, cool reswaps, a little Detroit powered uh, 560. If you're a fan of Heritage Iron, which you should be, I mean, if you're a tractor fanatic like, like we all are, like I know you are, you should be. This was uh, featured a couple weeks, a couple months ago. Weeks? What am I saying? And uh, I said he was gonna bring it. Brought it out, got a plow behind it. What a cool looking tractor. It's just funny because that, that Detroit's so small. It looks like such a small motor for what it is, but he's got the big, nice wide front end tire, or you know, not wide front, wide, narrow front tires on it. Gives a nice beefy look. There's the little brother of it, a little 504. It's uh, also Detroit powered. Actually, there's the there's signage right there. And then there's a uh, Cummins V8 806 because, of course, there is. What do I say? You can see everything at Rantoul. Now here's another one, a tractor. You definitely don't see at a lot of shows. The Lance, I think these are Lance, or Lance Bulldogs. Field Marshal, that was the name, Field Marshal, I can't talk. These are the tractors that were shotgun start. You've never seen how these things work. You would take that right there, unscrew that, put a little piece of paper, start the paper on fire, shove it in there. That was your preheater. Then you would undo that Spin it around, put a shotgun shell in it, there. Tighten it back up. I don't know if you tighten it all the way up. I don't know how far tight you go, but you tighten it sort of up. And then you take a hammer and you hit right here and the shotgun shell concussion, the force from it turns the motor over and it fires off. You could also hand crank them. Some of these were hand crank and they had actually a spot where you could uh, make sure you're on the right spot for, for the starting motor. You can see it looks like this one's had some repairs done over the years, but pretty rare to see these field marshals here in America because obviously they weren't made over here. And at that time, not a lot of stuff made its way over here. And then again, you know, it's a pretty cool little pulling Oliver, Super 88, and a 770, kind of here in the backyard of uh, Oliver Land. All right, back to ridiculously cool stuff here. What's what's your name, sir? Ryan Wade. Ryan Wade, you're out of uh, Princeton, Illinois, which is actually not too far from here. And he's got this. Uh, was it 5020 to start with? Yeah. Okay, making all guesses. I'm an Oliver guy, I have to make guesses. That uh, obviously no longer has the John Deere powertrain. So tell us a little bit about this thing. Uh, it was repowered in the late, in the early 70s by Ed Mead. Okay. We did a bunch of them. Uh, it was used for years around Prophetstown, and then uh, it got stuck in fifth reverse. So they, the, the owners backed it into the timber because they figured the transmission was no good, and we heard about it and bought it. and. Uh, turned out it was just it was the shifting rods that go down through the transmission were stuck in mud mm -hmm. which hardened into concrete we got that fixed and my brother Gary started this thing uh, sat for a while he lost interest in it and then I took it over and kind of kept working at it for over a seven-year period mm -hmm. here's where it is now I show I'll have a video of it you have it actually set up where the hood rises on electric uh, hydraulic or electric over hydraulics solenoids and then also the air filter comes out so you can change the air filter without having to touch one bolt yep which is these two uh those two switches up in there that was pretty that's that's a pretty trick setup that was just so you could just to do something yeah just to do something neat that yeah, is pretty different. cool welded so, the hood and the cowl together and it pivots back there mm -hmm. by the by the uh right here okay okay the stock bolts would be that's cool. So we'll show that where it's lowering because obviously just he just got it up and polished. Oh, he's gonna do it. okay. That's pretty cool. And then I moved the shifter over to the to the fender. It used to be it used to be up on the dash. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Now, um, it seemed like we uh. So I also, I work with the Antique Engine and Tractor Association down there in Geneseo. Seemed like there was a lot of Detroit's and repowered stuff that ended up in that area. There's a couple Kenzie powered big uh, 8,000 series um, center steers. There's some other like, is it just a popular on that part of the world neighborhood you know, or? It'll be competition. <laughs> One I, farmer's got something and. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of guys uh, get 
get used to seeing a John Deere with a V8 running around, suddenly other people want one. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, there's this distinct sound. I mean, your neighbors are clearly gonna hear this thing yeah. when she's under load. And then there's that filter coming up. That is cool. A lot of guys, you know, a lot of guys that had these, they'd have to make the deal, the neighbors would make them make a deal to stop working at six o'clock. <laughs> yeah. That's the truth. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I mean, I'm, and Oliver, I mean, how many Oliver guys with between the 990s and the 1950s are wearing the hearing aids now because at the time no one thought it was cool to wear earmuffs and then now it's like yeah i gotta have muffs on this thing yeah we'll show you from the front here so it lifts up out of the way enough so you can get the air filter out i mean i'm pretty sure this tractor works a lot you probably have to clean that air filter all the time don't you yep. <laughs> well thanks again for showing this thing off another cool piece again like i talk about there's stuff you see at Rancho you won't see anywhere else. Back side of that 5020 we just talked about and showed how cool it was. This thing is smooth. The entire tractor is smooth. Like, brand new cars don't come out of the factory with this much. Just, I mean, look at that frame. Every casting mark on the whole engine has been polished. The transmission you might slip on the, the floorboards there, but I mean, just underneath there, you see that? All absolutely gorgeous. This tractor is just an absolute work of art. We'll come back and get a good view of this thing, obviously. One of those just cool pieces here. No matter what kind of tractors you like.
you know, you got it. Your one cud cadet isn't quite powerful enough. You just go ahead and attach your uh, your pusher unit on it, and then you can haul the world's most adorable gravity wagon. I mean, it's it's getting used. It's it's definitely uh, it's farm ready. But look at this. You got your Cub 100. You made it up to your back cub. That's cool. Cool setup. Is this yours? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Bibster's repair shop on YouTube. Can you talk about it a little bit? Uh, it's just a tandem Cub 100s okay. that we hooked together. The throttle's right here, the choke right here for the back one, and then this is the clutch for the back one. Oh, cool. Uh, that's cool. That's awesome. Yep. And then, wagon. So did you come, where'd you come up with that? Was that just a... Uh, trail. Okay. So are they both 100s? Yes, they're both 100s. That's cool. <laughs> I saw you driving this morning. Like, God, we gotta find. We gotta find this thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And with that setup, I mean, pretty much you could just keep adding. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. could uh, go back in two years with a triple. <laughs> We're trying to get another wagon. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm yeah. sure you know that's a real popular 50 bushel. Everyone's when they have the gargantuan Kenzies. They were good for that bird corn. Oh yeah. But that's cool.
2.3 uh, half cents of your progress. Look out for both uh, tractor bolt videos. Should be out pretty soon. Uh, depends on how much sleep I did it or did not get. But again, if you've never been to the show, you've got to come check it out. It'll be in 2025. Make sure to uh, check it out. I'll put a link in the description of the website for that. And uh, we will see you guys on the next one. Bye.